Welcome to Baguio Benguet, city of pines and the summer capital of the Philippines. Home to various historic and tourist spots like this, that, oh, this, and also that. And it's also home to Habibi's Grill, the only authentic Lebanese restaurant in the city. That's Ramsey, he's the owner, and that's Robert, his cousin and partner. Hello. So, Ramsey, how did it all start? Habibi started as a practicum in SLU under Mom Gumnad. Then after I graduated, me and my cousin were thinking of an idea of opening a Lebanese cafe restaurant in Baguio where he was supposed to take care of the coffee because he's a coffee drinker and I was supposed to take care of the kebab because uh, I had the practicum in SLU. And from there we were thinking uh, Baguio does not have a proper Lebanese restaurant or Mediterranean cuisine. So we came up with the idea of just Lebanon that uh, people like. So we thought of the hummus and then we thought of the falafels and then so on. What were the challenges you faced when you started? One of the greatest challenge we had was the capital, of course, because uh, I was a newly graduate, my cousin was a newly graduate. So we wanted to try make Habibis work with what we had. We did not want to ask help from our parents. So we asked each other, how much do you have? How much do you have? So we both came up with 20,000. And with a total of 40,000, we tried to get all the materials and everything we need to renovate the shop and then most expensive was to build the kitchen we had to buy oysterizers, blenders, chopping boards, knives and all of this cost money and the most expensive of all was our griller because we went around town looking for grillers and all the grillers were 50,000, 60,000 that's more than what we had to even renovate and start the business. So we just went around looking and checking how to, you know, how, how are these grillers made. And we got ideas and we went home with the resources we had. We talked to a friend we know and asked him to weld us and build us a griller. So, Ramsey, what's next for you? And what advice can you give to aspiring entrepreneurs out there? For Habibis, we would uh, want to expand in the near future. Hopefully we can open in Subic or Manila or Clark or maybe even open one more branch here in Baguio if given the opportunity. Also we would want to try serve more authentic cuisines that we could let the people taste because there's still a lot to the Lebanese cuisine that a lot haven't tried. But it's hard to serve because it takes a few days to prepare the food before you can eat it. So it's gonna take a long process. So we're gonna try our best to see what we can do and maybe offer it to the people. My advice to entrepreneurs is have the right attitude. Uh, be honest, you know, especially if you have a partner. Be honest with your partner. Be humble. If you have an idea, be open. Also, what's important is your connections. The people you hang out with, the people you deal with, the people you talk to. Because that's a, that's a very big reflection on your part. If you talk to good people, if you hang out with good people, if you have a good uh, character, other people will respect you more. And then, um, failure is guaranteed if you don't try. But if you try, you might succeed. If you have an idea, that's what entrepreneurs are all about. You try to make your idea work for you and for the people around you and for the future. Because an idea, everybody has an idea. But to make that idea work is what makes you a good entrepreneur. So, wow, that's really great advice. Thank you again, Mr. Ramsey. You're welcome. Good luck to all the entrepreneurs out there. We wish the best to all of us. Hmm, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Let's go inside and see what they're serving up.
Mm-hmm. As they say in Baguio City, Naimas.